In this video, we will continue the series for Laravel microservices by switching uh, the HTTP request from post to the comments to the opposite direction, but uh, with a small uh, change. So uh, now we will change the app that the comments will uh, insert uh, their comments on the post microservice, but also there is a 10% chance of failure which means uh, that uh, not all the comments will be inserted in the POS database. So in this video we will only add the functionality that uh, we have a 10% chance of failure and in the next series we will solve this problem by synchronizing the database using a, a cron job. Now let's add this functionality. So I opened both uh, projects, the post uh, microservice and the comments microservice. If you haven't watched my previous uh, video, you should uh, do it to create uh, these projects. Also, the front end is already running. So now what uh, we will do is we will add uh, a column to the post uh, database and we will uh, uh, send a request from the comments to the post. So let's start first by uh, creating a new field in the uh, post uh, table. So php artisan make migration add comments to post table. So I won't cr uh, create a new table for the comments. Instead, I will add the comments directly here. So table, uh, I will, uh, I want to create a JSON column, but I will create a text column. This will be a JSON. Uh, the reason I'm uh, adding is adding it as a text is because uh, the JSON column uh, creates some problems. So table here, drop column text. So now I will migrate, but uh, we will uh, uh, remove the previous data. So I will do it like this. So PHP artisan migrate fresh. This means uh, that uh, we will uh, uh, remove uh, all uh, the previous data. So we have a problem there uh, because uh, we will send a request, I guess. No, I forgot to run uh, PHP artisan serve. That was the reason. So I uh, added a new column and also I cleared the database. So if I see the post microservice here, it doesn't have any data, but it has a new column comments. Uh, I added that column and uh, now uh, let's go to the other microservice. Here now, when uh, we store the comment, we want to send a post request here to insert that comment. So I will create first also a function here, public function comment. This will have a request and it will have the ID of the post. So for the moment, I won't add anything. Uh, I will go to the routes and the endpoint will be like uh, this. So posts with uh, an ID comments here. I will remove this. Uh, so I will remove, I will import the namespace directly on top. So I think is uh, cleaner this way. So we added a new uh, route, a post request to post with ID comments or comment, so that is just a naming convention and it will call this uh, function. So here I forgot to change it, so comment. And uh, here, when we create a comment, we will also send an HTTP request in the middle here, so comment, we will return it we will send an HTTP post to HTTP 
localhost port 8000 slash api slash posts slash uh, we need uh, the uh, post id here so i will uh, change it like this and this will be the comment post id like this slash comments we need to send some information and that information is uh, the text as comment text and uh, we want to get the, the so this is the request so i want to write it request because it confuses with this request and uh, i'll make uh, a nif condition here if request failed so for the moment we will not do anything so let's just uh, echo uh, request failed that's it nothing more and uh, we will return the comment so why we don't do anything here because uh, uh, if the request is successful or if it fails that doesn't matter we still created the comment here and we should return the comment so that is uh, the logic uh, so we have this uh, request and let's uh, add it also here so we will send as we saw we'll send the post id and we'll send in the request the text so here what uh, we will do we will have the text here and this is the post id this means that first we can find the post which is post find with this id so we get the post and now we want to uh, add uh, the comment to the json so now it is a little bit uh, complicated because we need to make some changes in the post model first the first change that i will add is uh, if we create the post like this it will fail now i will show you why uh, i will create a post here so it did it fail i think n so let's create a post so it failed uh, field comments doesn't have a default value so that is uh, the problem and uh, the other problem is uh, we could have had add here a default value but uh, in the text and json uh, columns is not supported the default value so the only choice is to add here the default value and i will add it by adding protected attributes comments by default is uh, since uh, it is a string i'll put an empty array there so uh, that is uh, the fix for the first problem that uh, we couldn't create uh, uh, the post so now if i save it will create it so this is a post request it was created but uh, we get uh, so it was created but uh, not sure why it, uh, the react app failed uh, it doesn't matter since uh, we will make uh, other changes so we created a post we have a comment here which uh, this is from uh, the request here we need to migrate fresh also the comments uh, here which uh, i will do it now so php artisan migrate fresh and we won't have any comments not sure why we don't have uh, any posts yet so that should uh, be investigated but this uh, will return all the posts now we should not uh, get uh, the comments there and let's try it again to create it so we get this error i think i know the reason is uh, that uh, the comments return like this so i will open it in a new tab 
So this should uh, be returned as an array and not uh, as a string like this. So how do we solve that? So in Laravel we have uh, the attributes where we can interfere with uh, the fields. What do I mean by that? So I will create here a function get comments attribute and this accepts a value. So with this function that I created get attribute is uh, a syntax form from Laravel and comments is uh, the field of uh, this model. So now we are getting the comments and the value here will be the value of the comment which currently is this value string here. And here inside this function we can modify that value as we want. So for the moment I will just return 5 here to show you what uh, this function does. If I refresh this we have comments 5 here. So it is this value and if we return the value like, like it is we don't change anything. So it will return this string but uh, we want to return it as an array. So here I will uh, return JSON decode this value as an array. So this is a syntax to uh, convert a JSON string to an array. And if I do it like this, we have the comments as we want. So this won't throw an error and we created the post in the beginning. So this is uh, the first uh, change. We will also add the setter later on. Uh, we removed the comments from the request here. And now when we send the request uh, to the post, we want to add the comments here. And uh, we will do that by first getting the comments, which is equal to post comments. This value, when we do it like this, it will call the getter. So it will be an array uh, because this will be called every time we call the comments. So we got the comments here and uh, we got the text in the request and what we need to do here is to do an array push to the comments. And we will add the text from the request text here. So if we use this function, we will add the comments. And now to set the comments, we need to set it like this. So comments are equal. This now it is an array, but the comments uh, in uh, the model are a string, so we have to use JSON uh, encode the comments and that should be it. So uh, this will be a string now. But uh, as I said before, we can add uh, also a new way here, which is uh, set comments attribute. We can pass here the value and here we won't return anything, but we can set it like this. This attributes comments are equal to JSON encode this value. If we add this function, this means that uh, if we set the comments, we don't need to add JSON encode here. We can add it like this. So it is uh, simpler and uh, this will be the value that uh, will it will be passed here. We will JSON encode it and we will add it to the comments. In the end, we will save it. Uh, sorry, post save. And that should be it. So let's test uh, this uh, function by creating a comment here and this comment will send an HTTP request to this uh, function. So comment, post it and we get a comment here 
which means uh, that uh, this uh, request worked. Uh, we didn't echo any request failed, so it was successful. If we refresh, we will still get that comment. And uh, if we go to the post microservice, let's check the database. We can see here that uh, our comments is like this. So this is a JSON uh, uh, string inside here. So we fixed uh, the first problem, which uh, we sent a lot of requests to get uh, the comments. And uh, now we will introduce a new problem, which is uh, that uh, sometimes the request fails and uh, we won't get uh, every time the all the comments there and uh, to uh, make it more obvious i will add here a condition and a random from 1 to 10 so this will generate a number from 1 to 10 if it, if it is less than uh, equal I actually added it in the wrong place, so I will cut this and I will make the if condition here. So if this random number is less or equal than 9, then we will send the request. And uh, there is also another small chance that also the request will fail. And uh, what uh, do we do when uh, the request fails. So if uh, the random number is 10, this request won't happen, but we don't know at all. So if we keep writing comments, uh, so I added uh, six cases, so uh, let's add seven, eight, and nine. So these are all the comments, but I'm sure that not all of them are inserted. So if I refresh now, we can see the second one wasn't inserted, uh, neither the fifth one. So two comments weren't inserted because uh, we had the random chance here that uh, we may have uh, uh, got a 10 number. So how do we solve this problem and how do we synchronize the comments? We will fix this in the next series. We will add a cron job to synchronize the databases. So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.